Good day, everyone. I am Mr. Garth Reed, Student Ambassador for the University of Technology Jamaica and Mathematics Teacher and Training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. Today, we'll be looking at another question in the CAPE Integrated Mathematics Syllabus, which is the Factor Theorem on the Module 1, which is Foundations of Mathematics. So here are our question, which says, show that x minus 1 is a factor of f of x, which is equal to x cubed plus x squared minus 6x plus 4. All right. So what does the factor theorem say? All right. What does the factor theorem say? So let me write solution. So I'm going to write a statement here now, right, that says if x minus 1 is a factor of f of x, then by the factor theorem, all right, by the factor theorem, r, which is the remainder, and that is equal to f of 1, will be equal to 0. Now, in case you're wondering where did I get that one from, I got it from the factor here. All right. So what I did was equated the x minus 1 to 0, and that implies x is equal to 1. So if I should plug in 1 into the function here, f of x, and the output is 0, it means that x minus 1 is a factor of f of x. All right. So I'm going to do it here. So we are given that f of x is equal to x cubed plus x squared minus 6x plus 4. So f of 1 is going to be equal to 1 cubed plus 1 squared minus 6 times 1 plus 4. Right? Anywhere that we see x, we substitute 1. So what can we do here now? So f of 1 is equal to 1 cubed, we know is 1, plus 1 squared is 1. Negative 6 times 1 is negative 6 plus 4. All right. Let us simplify. Let's simplify. So we know that 1 plus 1 is 2, minus 6, that's negative 4, and we have the plus 4 at the end. So f of 1 is equal to negative 4 plus 4, we know, is 0. So clearly, you can see that we got 0 as the output. All right? So this is what they ask us to show, right? They ask us to show that x minus 1 is a factor. So we can now write shown. All right? So if we should plug in 1 into the function and the output is 0, then it means that the x minus 1 is a factor of f of x, all right? This is using the factor theorem. Now, I want to show you an alternative method of doing the same question, all right? So let me scroll down here, and I'm going to write alternative method, all right? So the alternative method basically is to use, all right? So I'm going to use polynomial long division. All right. So if x minus one is a factor of f of x, it means that if when we divide f of x by x minus one, the remainder is going to be equal to zero, right? So all we have to do is just divide the function by x minus one and show that the remainder is zero. So what we have is x minus one and we're gonna divide that. We're going to divide that into x cubed plus x squared minus six x plus four, right? That was our f of x. Good, so this is what I now have. I'm going to divide the x cubed by the first term in the expression here in the brackets, which is x, right? So what we'll have is x cubed over x. Now that is equal to x squared, right? Remember, 
one is the power there and you are subtracting the indices. So x squared will form my quotient. So I'm gonna write the quotient in blue, right? X squared, and then no, I'm gonna multiply the x squared by each term in the brackets over here. So when I multiply the x squared by x, I get x to the power of three. When I multiply the x squared by negative one, I get a negative x squared. The next step now is to subtract this. All right, so we're gonna do some subtraction now. Now clearly x cubed minus x cubed will give me a zero. And now we have x squared minus a negative x squared. Now the two negatives here will turn into a positive, right? So we have x squared plus x squared, which in fact is two x squared. And now I'm gonna bring down the negative six x. And I'm gonna do the division process again. So I'm gonna divide the first term here, which is two x squared by the first term here in the brackets, which is x, right? Remember one is the power there. And when you subtract the indices, we will get a two x, all right? So that two x will form my quotient. So this is a positive two x. And I'm gonna multiply the two x by each term in the brackets. The two x by x, gives me a two x squared and two x times a negative one will give me a negative two x. All right, the next step now is to subtract. Good. Now clearly two x squared minus two x squared will give us zero. And then now we have negative six x minus a negative two x. All right, so the two negatives here will turn into a positive. So what I will have now is negative six X plus two X, all right? And that is equal to negative four X. I'm gonna carry down the positive four here, all right? I'm gonna carry down the positive four. Good. And I'm gonna do the same thing again with the division. So I'm dividing negative four X by the first term in the brackets there, which is X. Clearly the X's will cancel, which will give me a negative four. And that negative four will form my quotient, all right? Now I will have to multiply the negative four by each term in the brackets here. So negative four times X will give me a negative four X and a negative four times a negative one will give me a positive four. All right, so let me just write that over. Good. And we are subtracting this result. I am not sure why my, my X's are gone. Let me try that again. Good. Now clear negative four X minus a negative four X will give me zero and four minus four will also give me a zero. All right, now clearly you can see that zero, right? Zero is my remainder, right? This is my R, that's my remainder. So since we divided the polynomial by X minus one and zero is our remainder, it means that X minus one is a factor of F of X. So I'm going to write a final statement here, which says, therefore, the remainder is zero, which implies that X minus one is a factor of F of A, all right? And that is what they ask us to show. So I can now write shown. All right, so that is our solution. I have now shown you how to apply the factor theorem in two different ways. All right, if this video was helpful for you in any way, please ensure to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. I am Mr. Garth Reed. Student Ambassador for the University of Technology Jamaica and Mathematics Teacher in Training. All right, I thank you for joining.